this week, uh, productivity-wise, it has been great. Um, I don't know exactly how many people we have gotten. Please stop uh, typing in chat or PM me, please. Um, I, I, yeah, don't PM me or put anything in chat yet. Yeah. But um, I believe I told uh, I mean, we had like 15 people just in two days get recruited. Um, I'm probably, I'm going to check on how many people we got this week, but it was really a really good week. Um, that looks about to be about 30 to 40 people, which I should see on the roster, but, uh, some of them I haven't seen at all, but guys, just make sure you are showing them that, that Intel's a good branch, okay? And that they want to stay here no matter what. Um, something new that we are adding in it is it's easier for me uh, to go through all the response logs and check to see if you're actually putting down them right and you're actually doing your chats instead of just going on there and putting it down. So when you do, you are going to tell me what type of trout you did because if I don't see that you did that or let's say Junit put one of these uh, tryouts on it and I look and it says spy and then I go to the spy thingy and he doesn't have it. You guys don't have to do it now, okay? You guys are fine. You don't have to do it now. Please don't do it now. That's just a complete waste of time. Um, in the future, you will have to fill this out, though. So, mission-wise, lock. Uh, hold on. Yeah, slick, unit. You guys are on the... You two are the tied for mission-wise. Aqua and lock are second place. Infinity did one. Uh, Tryout-wise... Slick again is the uh, trial um, or the recruitment officer of the week. He did nine of those. Uh, I believe he, he, I'm going to check on how many he did in total, how many people he got, but he did very well. In second place, we have Junit. Uh, he did seven. Then Aqua, Lock, or no, Yeet for third. Aqua, Lock, Infinity got four then we go to willie soviet and soviet actually he got four as well but uh yeah productivity logs that were good uh in game wise it's been up and down i've gotten a couple reports from other branches and have seen a lot when i have went on my alt uh in team speak i have seen a lot from our officers in team speak i'm very disappointed uh the team speak wise uh, for some of our officers and some of our enlisted not getting in in the failure to communicate with them But I'm gonna take that as a personal loss for me on that for us, but um, As for that in game. We just need to be doing more occupations um, and just keep up your um, stuff on the uh, Productivity um, This week I will be giving everyone a chance to that is a spy, okay, if you're not a spy, you cannot do it, but I will be giving everyone that is a spy a chance to apply for the spy director, Yeet, uh, is a spy officer at this time, and he will have the upper hand more than any of you, um, but it does depend on his responses, uh, but that won't be yet, um, we are gonna go to PTS's, uh, first off, and see what the high command thinks of it first, so Rex, if you would like to speak, go ahead. I'm sorry, on what topic? Sorry, I was not listening for that one. Anything you want to bring up? Anything? Alright, so... <coughs> Alright, so overall this week... Um, I missed my first week in Intel, so... I joined somewhere midway through the week, so I don't have too, too much to say, but from what I do want to say, uh, just make sure that you guys know that uh, or that you guys are well caught up on every rule that are uh, that we have for the branch, for spies, for classes, everything like that. Um, because I have been, you know, getting PM'd and being pulled in many sits to see, to, uh, being asked, "Hey, are you allowed to do this? Hey, were you, were this was this guy allowed to do this as a spy?" And uh, it actually is quite. Annoying at times just because you know you guys should know some of these rules and we do have a page for it um, 
so and this goes and this is not even like the enlisted no this is like officers and so kind of disappointing to sometimes see that but just make sure you guys are reading up on the rules um as an officer just remember to always keep your cool um you want to show yourself professionally you don't want to be aggressive you don't want to be you know like um just hot-headed about stuff you want to be calm understanding but you know serious as well but you also want to like have some fun around there just make sure that you aren't you know uh making the branch look bad making everyone else look bad just make sure you're representing us in a good way um because i did see some of that this week some people were being very hot-headed about some things and they just need to cool down um but other than that, I mean, as Echo said, productivity is good. Um, you know, recruitment's good. I'm seeing a lot more intel on. And um, yeah, I just look forward to the next coming week and hope that we can see more improvement. I just handed it off to Gina. Yeah, go ahead, Gina. Uh, oh, you can just go through my notes. <laughs> I'm not right, about I'll to sit here for an hour reading off my notes. If you want to, Rex, it, you can. If you want me to do it, I'll do it. Yes, I'll do it. All right, so... um. So Juna has came and talked me talked to me in the last hour, and he uh had some stuff to say about it, which he uh put down because he thought he wouldn't be here. But I mean, I kind of surprised him with you know the an earlier one, which is fine. So, uh, spies, uh, new possible rule that he does want to add in for the intelligence branch, uh, in general, in the spy um regiment, is uh. A spy job is to infiltrate the U.S. We don't need someone who d doesn't uh, know what the job is intended for. So, um, a rule that says don't sit on a spy class because it's going nowhere. I hate this. Junit hates this. Officers, if you are on a spy class, because most of you do have it, don't sit on it doing nothing. It's something that shouldn't be happening. When I get on spy class, I do missions all the time. If I'm in game, that's what I'm probably going to be doing. I'm the commander of intel. I can be doing a lot of those more than almost anyone. But if you're not doing anything on spy class, give it to someone else. Okay? It's something that we need more intelligence through. And it's something that is special to us and us alone. We literally get to go into the other faction's base and we don't get banned for it. So um, make sure one, you're watching that. One thing if – okay, so about that is – when I want to, when I get on, I really would like to see every single person that has a spy class. I want to see at least every single person under a U.S. name because you're either coming back from a mission, you just died, or you're currently on a mission. I really would like to see that. That would mean that you're actually using the job as what it's intended for and doing that job. Also, if uh, if you need anything elaborated, either PM me or just ask me. I don't really care. I'll gladly elaborate. Anyways, continue. Um, then we have a tryout change. So, Juna thinks it is way too easy to become a spy right now. He says, um, we should be able to close the spy tryouts for now and uh, revamp the tryout doc, which, um, we'll put that up to a vote for later. Um, a possible new rank Thinking of adding a new spy, meaning spy manager would be above spy officer. Um, I might make spy XO the spy manager and then the spy uh, commander in charge of the whole group of spies. But um, that will probably be in the future. And everything on the stock will probably go to a vote. Um, spy groups. Uh, he he uh, thinks that we should... Uh, um, uh, fuck me. My dyslexia is kicking in. Add in spy uh, groups or sp uh, spy cells, which actually seems really cool. Um, so once people 
or spies, they can be part of a cell, and the cells can do different sp things, like an infiltration. Uh, they will have a group of infiltration cells. They will only be able to intel missions and gather as much intel as possible. Assassination will, will be the people only doing assassination missions. Um, that will be the main thing up for vote during this, but um, that's about it for the spy, unless Juno wants to add anything on that. Uh, there was the enforcement one too beneath that. Where's that? Uh, you may it may not have added for you. Um, anyways, uh, in enforcement or enforce spy rules more. Uh, basically, just be more strict if they get punished. You know, base laps, something, map laps, either or. Uh, PT in some way if they really mess up, maybe drop them from spy and allow them to reapply in two weeks. Or if, you know, if they mess up, possibly something else, ranked motion, something. Just, we need to be a bit more strict on the spies. Because I've been sitting there watching the spies mostly, and eh, it's getting a little, getting a little mingy in there. All right, and that's uh, what I believe is about it for that. Then uh, for some roster changes he was thinking about is if um, someone is blacklisted, put it on the roster, make sure you get their Steam ID and have staff remove their whitelistings, which we do now, just not as proficient. Also, uh, make sure you tell them via Steam PM any uh, way. and they Or any uh, other way. Yeah, any other way slash why they've been blacklisted. Um be looking out for more new officers. That's especially for Locke, me, Rex, and Junit. You lower officers, you can as well. It's not something that's just us. You guys as well can do it. Especially yeah. the um, DBs and RBs. Be you looking guys. for people to like recommend as well. Yeah. And Pepper right now, he's the KOT. He's, he's still there. His ends Monday, I believe. Yeah, it should be Monday. His uh, period ends on Monday, so we're looking for a new one. If you have a recommendation, PM, Rec, Rex, me, Junit. We can look out for them more. We can start being in game more, watching them personally. Um, roster cleaning, I think we need to kick everyone that uh, we haven't seen in a while. I am actually, uh, after this, I'm going to bring people up into the, my channel, and we're going to start doing that because... This is a no-brainer. I don't care about a vote on this one. I'm doing that. I don't care the opinions because I I've had this problem for since I was a daggle. And I don't want to put it up to a vote. I need this done now. But, um, officer warnings. Um, we need a bit more strict on on the lower slash higher officers, meaning if they're going to do anything at all, uh, they get warnings. Um, if they don't... Wait... Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Type. There's yeah. probably typos yeah. all over this thing. I typed it in like ten minutes. Yeah, please. Um. All right. So I'll elaborate on this one for you. Um. Basically, what I mean is, if you're gonna be gone for an extended period of time and you don't let anyone know, there you have a very high chance of getting demoted. Uh. You know, if we're not gonna demote you if you know it's emergency or, you know, if you just drop off the face of the earth, like, for example, if you you know. You're driving down the road and you're in a car wreck and you have no way of contacting because either you're dead or you're in a coma. You know, we're not, we're at least, I guarantee at least in some manner you could eventually, well, if you're dead or in a coma, not really, but, um, you, we could, we could have a discussion about that when, when you, you know, either, uh, come back from the dead or, uh, you know, wake up from your coma or whatever. But if you know, if you just drop off the face of the earth and there's no valid reason, you're you're probably gonna get demoted. But if if you're gone and you, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty simple. You know, just give a valid reason. If you know you're gonna be gone for a while, PM one of us. You know, we'll put it, we'll, tr we'll try to get it on the roster. Pretty simple. Just tell us if you're gonna be gone. We'll, you know, life happens. If any of you knew me while I was CO, I basically had to drop off because I was failing school. So, yeah, uh, you can continue from here. All right. Um, this I am uh, the, something that is uh, now in the branch is striking.
about that. <clears throat> so we ha do have strikes that uh, I haven't exactly uh, been updating yet. I am gonna be start doing that, and our high command is going to focus on that more. If you look on our roster, you can see the high command. It has there's uh, zero out of three. It, every person gets three strikes. Three strikes. Well, you're out. Baseball. Are you walking? Damn. I didn't mean so much as a strike system. I meant um, with oh, this. I that's in. I just wanted to make sure you. I uh, yeah yeah. I'd already I'd already seen that. Um, no, what I meant by this was I meant you know a meeting checklist. As in, um, if you show up, we count or we count whoever's here. We make sure we get their name. We go put a check by their name. Uh, make sure you know. Hey, they were there. They were participated. It's fine. Um, with a valid reason of being absent or being late, one or the other, you'll just get a dash. If you miss without reason and you don't give a reason why you were gone, you'll get an X. And if, you know, the more Xs you start getting, the more strict we're going to be start getting on you. You know, hey, you got to show up. If you don't, that's fine. Just give a valid reason on why you can't. Uh, don't lie about it. We're, we're, it's pretty simple. We're understanding people. You lie to us, you're going to get demoted. It's plain and simple. Don't lie. Yeah. Honesty is one of the best things that you can do. Now, I mean, if you, if, okay, if you come to one of us and you're like, hey, I really, you know, I don't want to go to the officer meeting. I'm not having a good day. I get it. People have bad days. It it happens a lot. It happens way more often to me than I would like. But still, you know, if you're having a bad day and you just don't really want to do anything, we get it. We ain't going to be like, oh, just because you're having a bad day, it doesn't mean you, you're not supposed to show up to the meeting. Just give a valid reason on why you don't want to be there. Don't lie about it. Just be honest. We understand. Shit happens. Uh, I'll just go over the classes because it's a short one. Yeah. Um, classes, uh, I don't know if Echo's been telling you guys this at all or not, but um, uh, we probably look into removing Commander... And changing it to a high command class, meaning it should. I, I personally think the access level should be Dagon Plus because of the fact that, you know, that as, for USMC, how I did my high command was I had it at Lieutenant or Lieutenant Colonel Plus, and if, if I'm corrected, uh, if I know Talib or Insurgent yeah, ranks, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's basically how I had run my high command. Is once you were Lieutenant, you were or Lieutenant Colonel, you were you're considered high command. Um, and then I had that echo. That's personal preference. Uh, if you want something different, that's fine. I just would rather have a talk about that later on. Uh, Torin, a removal and changing it to a low or low command class. So that could be uh, DB to Jag. I don't know how you guys do your uh, BCOT. Cause, Cause I mean, if I'm correct, BCOT is like uh, um, Sergeant Major, right? SMA, Equivalent yes. to SMA, CMSAF. Yeah, yeah, so it's SMA basically SMA like a Sergeant really Major like then. Yep. Um, if I'm correct, you guys are using your BCOT as like a trial period for new officers? Is that what, is that mm -hmm. what you guys are doing? All right. Yeah, I kind of gathered that off the roster, and that's why I kind of got at it. Um, I say that instead of just having uh, low command uh, open up to uh, DS, I say we have it at DB up to JAG um, because of the fact that, you know, we don't want, you don't want someone who just became an officer to be running around in this, you know, semi nicer class because, you know, hey, they may just, they may have just wanted to become an officer so they could get better classes. That's not what we're really looking for. We're, more aligned looking for someone who actually wants to be an officer and actually who does their job. You know, what, once you go so high, you don't really have an incentive to go higher. So make at least have something hanging over them. Be like, hey, see that? Yeah, you could go get that. Just work hard at it and you could do it.
That's what I mean by it. Uh, Swabby, remove it or change it entirely. Um, I'll probably add this a bit onto it a bit later. Um, I think I don't want to get into weapons. Like I, I say we have more explosives. Granted, yeah, I know, I know. It, because I mean, you got to look at the other branches too. Because I've only found one class for Intel that has an explosive, and that's that's a tier five class. That's that's all I've seen because I haven't really looked through them. That's all I've seen though. I think because all the other branches, I'm assuming that they either have access to grenades or something, something that goes boom. I think uh, we need to look into getting a, like maybe another one or two classes that has an explosive. Uh, combat medic, remove it or change it. One or the other. Scout. Still same thing. Remove it or change it. All right. Uh, I'm done with my notes. If you guys got any questions, you can PM me about my notes. Uh, like I said, links in chat. Links. Anyways, uh, Anyways who, uh, who's ever next can go. Lock. What's up? You're next. Uh, well, I'm new, as you guys might know, but I am trying my hardest to um, help as much as I can. As you see, I have a little bit of productivity. It's not as much as I wanted it to be, but I haven't been feeling good this week. But um, uh, I'm really interested in the spy director, but even if I don't get to that, I'll, I would still like to be you know, involved in spies. I because uh, you gotta keep in mind, like, I was commander of the MP, I was, you know, lieutenant colonel and fast, and colonel and fast, and I was even base officer at one point, so sector alpha and security is my forte, and being counter security is also a good thing to have, so that's kind of where I like to see myself at, is being just as good at counter security as I am at being sector alpha. But, um... If anybody has any questions or anything like that for me about what my intentions or what I plan on doing or whatever, then you know, feel free to ask. But I'm trying to give out as many missions as I can to everybody so we can keep our spies productive. And um, it seems like everyone's kind of enjoying it because I've noticed that since I came over here and I started giving out missions, more people wanted to play over here and you know do missions because they know an officer is actively giving them out. And if you guys are officers able to give them out, then you know, try. But um, for those guys that are getting promoted, possibly, up to, like, JAG Plus or Tor Plus, um, you guys really need to hammer in those missions and get people to be active. That's how I keep people here is by being active because I remember at one point in Sergeant Intel died out completely because nobody was giving spies missions and nobody wanted to play. So let's change that. Yeah. That's pretty much it. All right, uh, Aqua, you're next. Uh, excuse the background, my brother's talking, but, uh, yeah, we did really good this week. I saw a lot of officers online, and, um, and basically, I just wanted to say for my activity, I'm sorry, but I had a lot of tests and stuff this week, and I have, I had some world grades, and I had to get them up, so, sorry about that. But, yeah, overall, we did really good, and I'm really proud of all of you. Not it? All right, so if it, your turn. Um, first I'd like to apologize to my activity for this week because uh, dealing with some stuff the close to heart, I'd rather not share. Also me being sick and basically being glued to my bed. That's my first thing. Um, also on, um, I want to add on to your, um, co uh, your, um, act like, um, sitting on spy. Um, I want to implement a spy um, activity log basically so this way we know who's doing the job what they're doing and this way we can deal with anyone that's not doing what they're supposed to um i feel like that's just a much easier way to deal with that um also um june i looked at your notes and you were ta um in there was something about blacklist um yeah, um, I, uh, just today, um, I'm, Rex was, uh, Rex, I actually asked Rex about this, but, um, today, um, we actually, I, I had him blacklist someone, um, 
um, paranoia, paranoid or whatever his name is. Basically, what he was doing is, first I caught him, um, um, TKing me in my training while I was doing a tryout. Um, uh, so that's his first defense that I found him doing. And I said I was just gonna PT him once he got out of, um, jail. But then after that I looked in the roster and he self-promoted himself from B5 to BB. So then I also looked at that. And then there was also some other stuff that he said to us. This is officer disrespect, and then after he said this to me, when he was muted. So, your channel. that's for any proof of that. Um. Uh, that's about it, about that for me, but, um, mainly, my main thing about this is, um, spy, um, um, activity logs. Because that's something that could help us um, a lot with um, our spy situation. Um, also, um, I don't know who should I go to to talk about um, classes, but uh, could you let me know and I'll talk to you about that. Because I have some recommendations for classes. Uh, something to add on to your thing about the activity logs for spies is maybe we look into yeah the activity log but as well um maybe close the tryouts for now entirely revamp them and then uh figure out who is who is active and who isn't active in the spy i i agree with you there but that's a, that's something that's like when you're talking about revamping them i'm guessing you're talking about like the trial like the trial itself yeah, yeah, yeah like revamping the trial doc i feel like we should wait for that until like someone like well obviously we can close it but i feel like when we revamp it we should wait for the person who's going to be director the ceo of spy and yeah, he I can agree. deal with that uh, i'll be deciding that tomorrow yeah um yeah because he should be able to choose how it should go and i agree with you i did that today for Locke, and i'm like this is way too easy. This is our best sub branch that we have. Um, yeah, when we have like fifteen to twenty people in there, it yeah, it sh yeah, it, sh it should be like how I ran Forcon. I had like eight people exactly. at max, and that was about it. Our spot for or like Marines Forcon are fast, whatever you want to call it, but but uh, it's just work on that. Spy is a big, I guess, a big. But, um, yeah, that's all from me, pretty much. Alright, Slick, you're up. Um, so, I have one thing to say, and one thing only, and that is, um, productivity. Um, tryouts, way better than last week. Um, missions, I can't stress this enough. We have to do more missions, considering the amount of tryouts we did. We should at least have the same amount of tryouts, or more missions, Missions give enlisted the opportunity to be promoted. If we aren't doing missions, that means that they don't have opportunities to work their way up through the ranks. We just need to do more mission and missions, and then that's about it. May I add? Go for it. Go for it. Um, yeah, no, I, I completely agree with you on that. Um, cause, um, like, my, this is just a suggestion, but, like, after you train someone, bring them on a quick mission just to give them, just to show them the rings and... Give them a chance, just show them. Because that's a good thing. The missions are a great way to show people what to do. It's a great way to teach them. Um, I'm just adding on to his, but yeah. I gotta agree with that as well. Once you do a tryout, um, either, hey, get a few people together. Get, you know, get some enlisted together and go out and show them how to do stuff correctly. You know, show them, go on a capping mission. Or, fuck, go even go do an occupation with them. Show them how to do stuff, because otherwise they're gonna get they're gonna sit there, get killed, and then get pissed and not come back and not join up through or go up through the ranks. And yeah. then what are we stuck with? What we have now: a bunch of inactive people who are on the roster who don't do anything, and that we exactly. never see. All right. So may I add because majority of our people are BRs that we have that yeah. would join. Hold on with that. So I'm gonna say this now. All my officers here, when you recruit something, one, I want you to do this. Go on one of your best classes, 
whether it's spot uh, scout recon teach them how you use that class and teach them what you they would like to see personally i want intel to be okay I, and i do this with my recruits when i'm done i haven't done a trout in a long time because i'm trying to focus on the branch but when i was a dagger i took my recruits out and i actually showed them how to role play those guys are were some of the b uh bbs that are on our roster in bks they went inactive i took them off but when i recruited them they were brs they went through the ranks really fast because they knew how to role play teach them how to role play right intel's one of the most role play role play based branches on the server we need to get our activity and our role play up because right now marines are more role play or have more role play than us navy army in like army navy really isn't, isn't it's just full of ninjas yeah, we need to do a lot of role play there. You're not in the... That point. With that yeah, said... That's it for me. Alright. Anyone else have to add on to Slick's thing? If not, I'm gonna let you go. Okay, can I talk finally? Yep, go for it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, um, overall this week is uh, pretty good. Productivity was, um, better than last week. One thing I do want to go over is um, actually recruiting people in Intel, okay? I've been seeing a increased amount of ninjas, like, you know, SBs and stuff like that. I've been seeing a increase of that, okay? So make sure you actually uh, recruit good people in Intel, because if you don't, then that's going to do a bad name for Intel. Um, so make sure, like, if you recruit an SB, make sure they're not minji or, like, immature, okay? If, the, like, if they are, then just remove them from the triad. Like they're gone, and if you see if you have like a person from another branch like I ISSF or um or IBO if uh, if you're recruiting that make sure they they be in um their branch three uh three days so you know no breakfast and stuff especially if you if you recruit an officer make sure make sure they don't self uh, promote this, uh promote themselves because we had a problem last week. So a TD, a tactics division officer, self-promoted, and you know, stuff like that. Make sure um, you are very strict of recruiting people because if you recruit minges, then that's going to give a bad name. Until that's all of it. All I have to say. All right. So a few more things we do have to do before this meeting ends. We do have to do some votes. It has been thirty, almost thirty-six minutes, but yeah, that's all right. Um. I got 32. I, got 32. <laughs> <laughs> I will, uh, just an FYI, I've been recording the entire time. Um, I think I'm gonna start using my secondary channel as a, um, like a, a place to upload, like, officer meetings. So if anyone was like, hey, I missed the officer meeting, we can be like, hey, go there and listen to the meeting. You know? I, I started recording halfway through for some fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> I've been recording the whole time. So. Yeah, so. Um,. I do have to go over a few things. First off, all officers in this channel, you have to have your rank in your name and no stupid shit. <clears throat> Willie, please take that out. Um, <laughs> I get freedom of speech and freedom of right. You always need your rank. I have Commander, Rex has XO, Locke has Jag, Juna has Dagum, Aquarium has RB, Yeet has DB. If you're on a US branch, please... You can do what Yeet does. He is on the Clone Wars server. He's 100 first. He plays on it. He does what he does. He does both. He has both his name. Okay. Always have it in your name. Um, <laughs> Rex automatically just sinks to the bottom. That's funny. <laughs> Alright. Um, it's alphabetized. <laughs> Alright, better. <laughs> I go from being fucking second in this channel to being a bottom line. Fuck that shit. <laughs> it doesn't work, ye. Doesn't work. The fuck do I oh the fuck I was saying? He tried. Oh no, it's the No but um Yeah, make sure you always have that. Uh, officers should always be in team speak, and I've had multiple reports of my officers minging. Multiple. Okay. Do not minge. I swear to God. This is what will happen if I get a report. I will talk to the person, talk to you. If I get actual proof of it, you're blacklisted immediately. 
Okay, because I should be talking to you by the time they give me that proof. I've talked to multiple officers about this, and this will be the warning to everyone here. If I get a report on you, I talk to you. I can't, I'm not going to do anything about it because I can't. I don't. It's not something that I will be doing if there is no proof. I always, from my staff experience, you need proof. Because on the server, there's a lot of he says, she says. Rex, Junit, Locke, uh, almost all of you know this. Okay. The second time, if I get proof, the third time, if I get proof, if I get any proof besides that first time, it will be an automatic blacklist. I don't care if you're an XO, I don't care if you're a fucking PV2. I don't care if you're on the US and you just come in over to my side and you're done. Okay. This is how Intel is, it's how I want it to be. It's how I want all my officers to be. Now, we are going to start putting things up to a vote. How this is going to work? Oh, say the topic. I'm not going to do a, the best job at it, nonetheless, because I'm kind of fucking stupid, but, you know, that can be discussed later. Um, if I'll put a line, probably put the uh, title of it above, and everyone has one vote per thing. There will be some times where everyone will have two, some three. doesn't matter. I can veto anything I want, but I'm tr I don't want to do that. I really don't. That's just power hungry, but yeah. If it's something that I really do not agree with, personal opinion, I will veto it, but, you know, I probably won't, so don't worry. And Rex, Locke, and Junit, all three of them can veto anything that I say. If Soviet, Slick, Aquarium, and Yeet, as well as Willie, if uh, all agree on something, and me and Rex do not, and we each, because me and Rex do have vetoing power, me and him alone, because XOCL. Uh, if either of us veto it, all low command and high command together can veto my my uh, Rex and mine together, but uh, high command and low command can veto mine. <laughs> um, so, with that said, we are starting a few things. First of that is uh, some of the things that Junit has um, in my asked to put in, in my uh, in my mile of notes. Yes. First off, let's see what that is, because I pay attention, but my dog is, like, you know, a little bit, you know. Uh, possible new rule, question mark. Alright, so it is going to be, if my, my mouse would ever work, I'd sick. Uh, the new possible spiral. Well, hello to you, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's my mother talking to my uh, my dog. So that's great. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Hi, Mrs. Echo. Give me a number. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't hear that. <laughs> oh god. That is messed up. <laughs> no. <laughs> you want hard Wait, you pain. I'm. Bye. Oh. <laughs> User joined your channel. Oh, listen here, puta. Do you actually wait? Do you not have a headphone? Do you not have a headset? I do, but like my uh, thing is kind of cash hey, down uh... in Soviet. Uh, well, actually, gonna... if if you're gonna talk about that, Slick is the only one besides um. <sighs> Soviet. Okay, we need to set a ground yeah. rule. Don't be putting numbers into there, because this thing is gonna get uploaded. Yeah, it's not an actual good number. Point. Number. Okay, good okay. Point. Good. Good point, Judith. Because this is going to be uploaded on YouTube. <laughs> I, I want to see this part for myself. Just like... <laughs> oh, it's Hello, a clip. Just it's concerning calls. What the fuck? What sucked oh, wait, work? Well, we, well, no, no, we've got it on the rule. Uh, Echo, if you want me to start the whole rule thing off mine, yeah, if you want. Please do. All right. Um. So here is what we're gonna be. Oh, what the hell? Stop kicking do people. Stuff like that, and I'm just gonna kick you, and you don't get to participate in the votes. Do not do that again. User joined your channel. All right. Now, uh, here's what we're gonna be voting on. Um, we're gonna be voting on whether or not we should add in. Wait. Do you wanna tell me what you want to vote in, or through PM, and then I'll start the vote. Let's just go. 
with. Do you want to start with the spy new rule thing? Um. No, let's go with the spy groups first. All right. So, uh, here's what we're gonna do. Um, if you say that we should, okay. Um, here's okay. Here's how I'm gonna do this because this this makes more sense. If you think that we should add in the spy groups or, you know, like spy groups or spy cells or whatever you want to call it, um, say yes in chat. Say if you do don't want them to add or if you do not want to add them, don't say anything. But if you do, say yes. Do you have sites to this? What do you mean? Uh, do, does someone, like, argue? Like, uh, when they one? become a spy, you can give them... Uh, the option of whether or not what cell they want to go into. So say if a person joins spy, they can want to go into assassins. Then I said, don't say anything if your answer is no. Um, so for example, if you want to join assassins, then you talk to the person or, yeah, you basically will talk to the person who is over or whoever is in that cell whoever runs that cell you talk to them or you talk to someone what why is six what six for yes one for no oh uh, okay well i guess i guess i guess we're gonna just add the groups then and no. so um, the it's laying the foundation write this down yeah um so Right now, as of right now, we're going to add it. It's not official yet. Um, we still got to build it. We still got to get everything set up and get it running. Uh, as of right now, uh, it's not f a full thing, but when we get it up and running, uh, we'll give everyone that's a spy the option of joining either either thing. Um, Quick question. Go for it. Wouldn't that be repetitive, though? If you're in a cell and you only do infiltration missions, wouldn't that just be repetitive? I mean, that's what a spy's job is. Is no, just to like... be... Okay, how about, how about this? We make it to where, yes, they're in that specific cell, but if they want to transfer out of that cell and go to, say, assassins, then they can talk to their higher-ups and they can they can go in and figure that out. But or we or we make a form for it and we just have them fill that out if they want to transfer. Man. Yeah. Go for it. Good. Uh, like what I, I agree with exactly what you say, but instead of like a higher up, I say like once we have like a like a CEO for spy, have them decide or the XO like uh, since he will be the manager spy like the XO. Well, here's the thing though. If you know, it, the problem with that would be that if. Uh, if that manager, whoever that may be, you know, we're not there yet, but whoever that may be, they they basically say, oh, uh, you know, I'm your higher up, so I'm going to tell you to go do that, and then you don't have a choice because I would rather give the, the, the you know, the recruit the option of picking whether or not they want to go into it. Well, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, no, I'm exactly what you're saying, what I'm saying, like, like, they would go to the XO instead of, like, just a random officer. May I say something about that? Sure. So, um, so we, instead of that, so we would have our commander, our director, spies, XO, um, and then we would have the cell leaders. So we would make cell leaders that would lead each cell and they would talk to that cell leader if they wanted to transfer over mm -hmm. that's not a bad idea we can look yeah. into that um, um give me one second let me go see if i still have my old usmc doc because if i, I still have that then i want to see if i can find my old um four con dude, roster I where i had it i have your documents dude i know but i want to see if i could find the four con doc because I the, f I just have to look through my email. I literally have the older, every old roster we've had since I joined. Oh, uh, it's not the Seniors. exact same. They changed it after I left. Oh, I know. Dang, that sucks. Some remaining, but um, back to your thing, Sylvia. If 
if any of the if let's say the CEO becomes power hungry or the any of the officers I am the advisor I had I'm this will never change the commanding officer of Intel will always be the advisor of all the sub branches the commander, yes. they look I over agree with that. that's never gonna change but I cannot I do not necessarily have a say on what the they do in there I am only here for Intel. as an authority over them and seeing what they want to implement that's what i'm here for exactly if the xo or co becomes power hungry i'm removing them immediately that's what my job is in there and that will not be an actual rank but it's what i'm it goes with the rank of co for a branch i look over all of it and um june well june is looking at that all right well um i yeah, me and Echo uh, and, and Rex, uh, we can all talk about this later on. We're kind of skewing off topic here. Let, let's uh, let's move on to the next vote, whatever that may uh, be. So the next one is going to be the change, the spy tryout change. So basically this. Uh, it's too easy. Close it, revamp. Um, I, so I wanna, I wanna... I, before we do this, I just – before <laughs> – yeah, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Um, I want to do this. We'll hold a vote on it, and then if anyone has an idea for this topic, I'll let you speak real quick. And um, after we do the voting, we'll do promotions, which I believe Rex and I have two, if we're, we came to an agreement. Um, one thing, the, the link that I gave out to go view my notes is, if I did it correctly, you guys should be able to comment on it. Um, yeah, we can. All right, so yeah. what? Here's how you do this. Uh, if you got a suggestion about it, uh, we're going to add, uh, just comment on, you know, be like, hey, um, you know, bracket it or whatever. Just highlight the whole thing, comment on it, make a post about it, do something, and so we, and make sure you like tell us where it is, and then that way we can go back in later on and and view it. Um, one thing I do want to change about my the change uh, or the spy out tryout change. Um, yes, I still agree that I still think that it's way too easy to get in there right now. Um, I say that we close the tryouts for right now. Uh, I say, and then I also say we got to revamp the entire dock, make it a you know way tougher to get in. Not so tough, or not so tough that it's you know you basically can't do it. Just Make it to where the you know the noob who just joined five minutes ago can't go ahead and join. Yeah. Granted, yeah, they won't be able to join if they're you know brand new because it still takes it, it will still take the rank to join in. But I still say that we got to you know make it a bit tougher on them. Um. One other thing is I say. Moved out of your channel. Oh, okay then. Who is it? Moved. Uh, yeah, Aquarium got Where? moved by Larson, Dude, or by Priv. Aquarium was... That Priv me. Oh, I, I right, him. Where is he? Uh, he's... He's in the AFSOC Mission Training Center. Guna, could I say something about that? Yeah, don't yell at him. Uh, well, hang on. Let me, let me finish real quick. Um, I say for right now, we just close the tryouts to the spy entirely. And we clear it out. We get re revamp the tryout dock, and we go and make sure if you know the spy. Who, okay, so our spy out dock right now. It, I'm assuming everyone's got access to it and can view it. But right now we have way too many people in there, and I guarantee they're not all of them are active. I say that we go in and clear out, you know, all that. See, what I say is that um, we close them for now. When a spy director or a commander is appointed, they would revamp the trial document, make it however they would want. But until then, trials would be closed, and then once they're revamped, they would reopen. Exactly. So exactly I, how I said it, yeah. We need for all right. So this will come up to Echo and probably Rex for now. Um, I say we just go ahead and close it, shut it down. You know, don't let anyone else fill it up anymore. Um, Echo and Rex, you guys can pick, or if you want me to also help out and pick, um, 
go and try to find someone in the spies right now that would be good for to run it. Um, just get someone in charge of it so that way they can go ahead and, and revamp that dock and get that thing ready to go. Uh, and also be, to be, while they're revamping it, uh, have people to, um, you know, priv, chill. Um, you know. Just have them cleared out, make sure that it, to revamp and to clear out the whole thing and make sure they that they only have active people in there. We only need a dock that is full of inactives. All right, I gotta go in like twenty five minutes, so we gotta right, we'll probably make this quicker. Um, <clears throat> just send me that video once you're done, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's you at fifty minutes video. right now, so this is gonna be a long yeah. video. Yeah, I want to try to keep it under an hour. Yeah, <laughs> which isn't I mean, gonna happen, but yeah, let's go. Ahead. I'm gonna veto at least one of these because we don't need to vote on it. Uh. Blacklist common sense don't just if you blacklist someone tell them that you're blacklisting them tell them the reason to say if they need to talk about it talk to me or X um, More officers as well. You guys need to be doing that in general So I'm also gonna veto that vote and just so you guys have to do it um, Roster cleaning will we will be doing that um, That's forms, a given Yeah, same thing officer checklist I th I'll just let's I'll discuss that with High Command. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, we're just gonna do a real quick vote on this last thing. Um, can I make a suggestion so, for that? Go ahead. Um, for right now, let's just vote on whether or not to change. Go ahead and move forward with changing classes. Yeah. So yes, if you want to, you know. Let, if you need the link to view my info and see what I've said about them, uh, just ask. No. I'll give it to you. Anyways, um, say yes if you want to vote on and have them changed in the future. Uh, class by class. Oh, I was just um, gonna. I was just gonna do it in general. If you want to mess with the ranks or not. Yeah, I know, but I need to get it one by one. See how they think. See how they fucking spam blocker off. No. no, stop spamming the shot in our meeting. The, the most acoustic thing we've ever done is the spam blockers. I don't but care, I'm not turning it off. You, but if I was the one, I would. Wow. You said I could be here. I said you could, but don't be autistic. You said don't participate, I'm not participating. I'm sitting up in here. Good point. Alright, so... Uh, removal or change of the commander class into something else, if you oppose that, but... I under the line that I'll put. Removal of the commanding officer class or change. If you oppose it, put I. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to do. I was, I, all right. Echo, I was just gonna say we make a vote on yes or no whether or not to change, um, or to move forward with go ahead and, and changing all the, of the classes. So that way we don't have to go one by one by one just to vote on whether or not to change the classes. I just say, you know, hey, because we can, right, we can yeah, move, we'll do, that we'll do, we'll do the group. And then later on down the road, whenever we get around to it and we get everything before this set up to, uh, change them individually. So for right now, let's just change or say yes or no. If we want to change the groups entirely or change them just, or not change them at all is what I'm trying to say. So put yes if you want the classes change or no if you don't. Pretty much, yeah. And I'm just gonna say this now. While you're doing your voting, I don't want to hear complaints about how long it takes. Really, be I, I I can take them and I'll look at them, but I you really don't want to hear them because in the end you are an officer, your duty. Two, if you have something to do, really it's more important than this. We have people that are recording. You'll be fine. Okay. Three. It's annoying when people say that they don't want to be in here. I could easily not let any of you decide anything, and I could just pick everything. That would be one whole, a lot one-sided. So I really would like to give my officers the chance to vote instead of me just saying, nope, we're not doing that. Yes, we're doing that. That would be okay. a dictatorship. Exactly. <laughs> Hitler.
And okay. four, if you really want, and four, if you really want to just keep bitching and complaining about uh, having a long meeting and how much time it takes, and you have really no valid reason, no IR reason to like fucking like believe this shit, and you just are saying that just because you know you're fucking bored, uh, don't worry. There's no, you know, don't think that your position can't be filled. You know, you, you're, you're, anyone could do your job, so I have no problem moving you. If you really want to bitch and complain about this, when you become an officer, this is one of your duties that you signed up for. You know, you, you accepted these. So, you know, you knew that you, what you would be getting yourself into when, uh, when you became an officer. So if you really want to bitch and complain about this stuff and fucking just whine about it, then I have no problem removing you from your life because if you won't do your job, somebody else will. That's how I always do. Alright, um... Gina, I believe that is it for that notes document. Alright, um... How close are we to closing tryouts? Because I'm sitting at 55 right now. Or, um, or not, closing, not tryouts, I mean, but meeting. My bad. What I'll do is this. Anyone that has a suggestion, come talk to me about it afterwards, and then I'll uh, talk to a high command and we'll bring it up during the next meeting. Um, right now, we're just going to continue on with promotions that we have. Um, I don't know if Rex and I have fully decided yet, but um, Rex, if you have decided on any, go ahead. I am still deciding. On um, the thing we talked about? On um, both of them. Uh, the first me? one is first one yes, second one no. Not ju not the second one only because this. Just pay me in. Wait, I have one more we might want to consider. That's the reason why. Jeff says that's what we. I don't think. Yeah, that that could work. That could work. I um, think. Yeah. All right, so um, I say that we just. Okay, so is the meeting, like, done? Because if it is, I... Promotions right now. Oh, well, I was going to say, if it's done, let's move to promotions. <laughs> yeah, we are doing that right now. That's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. XD. Hey, What's the... Um, the one was... you said you had? Yeah, I'll PM them. What do you think about those two? First, no, second, yes. Alright, then we'll do that, and that's about it, you think? Yeah. Alright. Can, can, may I know? Yeah. I'll Still PM. Those guys. Yes. Yep. PM get real quick. Do you want me to say them or not? Uh, hold on. Those are the two. Do you want me to say Okay, the, the, yeah, the second one I was gonna, um, uh, the second one I was gonna make a suggestion about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, okay, before you do, we're just gonna do this. I'm just gonna say this real quick, and then we're just gonna do what I will do about you. If you have a promotion request, just PM me while Rex says who is getting promoted. Alright, so, we have two people getting promoted this week. Um... Both people have been working really hard. They've been putting in effort, and uh, you know, even though they've had some, um, you know, even like no matter what happens with them, they always put in that effort and put in as much uh, responsibility that they can. So, first promotion we're going up is Slick. You're moving up to Tour. Congratulations. And the second promotion, uh, filling in his spot, will be Yeet. You're going up to RB. Congratulations. I want to see you. Congrats in chat, and then we'll end this meeting. Wait, Echo, before you end it, can I say one thing? Go ahead. Um, I just want to bring up uh, one of the officers that we currently have, um, DS Trev. Um, for two weeks now, he has not m uh, met his quota, which I think is a huge problem. I don't think he did any trials or activities this week. Um, same with last week, so... I think that's a big problem. He did three last week, uh, which was the quota last week, and this week he hasn't done any. He's on LA. Doesn't say that on the roster. Doesn't you want me it? to change him to LA? Yes, please. 
Alright, there Hi. we go. That's why I'm like, what? Okay, that makes sense. Alright, uh, just one quick thing to those of you, if you didn't get promoted and you're questioning why, um, what the f- Uh, hey, Echo, check your PM real quick. Just real simple. Yeah, uh, all three. Wait, who's the third one? What? Yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, one thing I do want to oh. say quickly, because I'm going to sit right now, uh, we look for consistency between tryouts and admissions, so if, um, if you didn't get promoted, just, just because, it's probably because, um, you focus so much on one thing and not the other, uh, just try to focus on both things, you know, even it out, and, uh, yeah, so I gotta go and sit, sit. Echo, do you want me to clear, um... Uh, I'll, do them. I'll do it. I'll do it. Right. Um, it is three o'clock now. This meeting has been in session for about an hour. I am glad to say, and I guarantee you guys all are. This meeting is adjourned. You are free to leave. User disconnected from your channel. Anyone that would like to Damn talk to me, fast. stay here. User left your channel. And PTS took about thirty minutes, and then changes and.